Hola a todos. A lot of people ask me how to revise for the GCSE Spanish listening paper, so I thought maybe I should film myself doing a past listening paper and talk through my thoughts and how I would go about it. So that's exactly what I'm doing in this video. I'm using the June 2022 listening paper. I'll pause the audio every now and again to properly discuss my thoughts. Hence, this video will be a little longer than the 45 minutes this exam should take. Vale, I'm looking forward to this. Vamos. So, I'm going to just play the audio now, start the audio. AQA, GCSE, vale. June 2022. Spanish, Paper Genial. 1, Listening Test, Higher Tier. This is what you should do for each item. Just the After the here. question number is announced, there will be a pause to allow you to read the instructions and questions. Listen carefully to the recording and read the questions again. Listen to the recording again, and then answer the questions. When the next question is about to start, you will hear a bleep like this. You may write at any time during the test. I would always make notes in during section the exam A, from the paper. Answer the questions in English. Section A English. In section B, section B is in answer Spanish. the questions in Spanish. Section A is much longer than section B. You must answer all the questions in the spaces provided. Do not write outside the box around each page or on blank pages. Write neatly and put down all the information you are asked to give. Blah, blah, blah. Ask any questions now. You must not ask questions or interrupt during the test. Vale. So five minutes of reading time is going to start soon. You now have five minutes yep. to read through the question paper. You may make notes during this time. You may open your answer book now. Vale. Time started? Yeah, so, five minutes, what I would do. I read through the questions, read through the entire paper, translate certain bits, and also start guessing answers. So, question one in the supermarket. Um, announcement, the word for announcement is anuncio. Can you see that? Anuncio. Um... Vale, vale, vale. Caché is cajero. Okay, so the first one is a multiple choice. You're picking two letters um, that the announcement mentions. Vale. Okay, so, um, actually three letters, my bad. Three. So three boxes here, so three um, letters. Vale. Then we go into interview with an actor. Um, this is sort of which statements are correct. So either A, B, or A and B. Um... Words we can translate confident, um, confianza. Um, what's the word for confident? Not sure about that one. Um, demanding, exigente. The adjective demanding, we might hear that. Um, bold is ha, calvo, creo. Um, bed is, can I type for this? Yes. Um, bigote. Bigote is bed. Um, vale. Glasses, gafas. So just translating different words on the paper whilst also reading the entire paper. News, noticias. Um, here, okay, so this is the one of the ones where you have, so one by one, question four. Um, you're going to mention a news item, is that what it says? The correct summary to each item of news. Vale. Um, the word tax is impuesto. Um, shortage, la escasez, like that, creo. Que mas? Um, volunteers, weather, vale, okay, next question is about the TV episode, soap episode, um, Carlos and Elena, vale, um, and then two more down here, Anna and, you know, all these different people. Um, complete the sentence. This should be an easy one. Let's translate some of the words here. Um, robar is to like steal. Steal. Um, gaming online en linea. En linea. Vale. Let's keep going. We have about maybe a minute left, maybe. Um, trip to the cinema. All these different things in a cinema. Good points and the bad points. Um, the cost of ticket, for example, is normally going to be something bad. 
Yes, I'm going to guess um, that would be one of the bad points, maybe. You can assume. Because the cost is never going to be something like really cheap, is it? Um, vale. Global issues. Um, where is it exactly? You're looking for like the specific answer, not just something general. Answer in English. Keep going. Um, window is ventana. Ventana with the accent on the end. I can't do that on this computer. La ventana. Um, la granja. Granja is the farm. Vale. Coast, el litoral. Or la costa as well. A um, hundred is cien. Yada yada yada. Vale. Okay, this one is about jobs. Um, last week, la semana pasada. Oops, semana pasada. All these little notes on the paper in the reading time, translating stuff and also just guessing answers is what I'm doing right now. Um, conversation, Alejandro. Sentir is to feel. Okay, again, we see the word exactly. What exactly does Alejandro's mother suggest? And what will happen if um, Alejandro does what his mother says? The Social test media. starts now. Okay, test is starting. Let's go to the front end. I'm going to switch to a two page view, I think. Vale. Section A. Questions and answers okay. in English. Can I zoom in? Yes. Number one. So three things, looking for three things. Felices fiestas a todos nuestros clientes. Les advertimos que cerramos mañana a las dos. Pero abrimos de nuevo a las 8 el día 27. Para una cena de Nochebuena memorable, hoy tenemos ofertas especiales en la pescadería, con gambas y salmón a precios muy reducidos. En el nuevo año, no se pierdan las rebajas en productos de belleza. Vale. Okay, I think I got the answers there then. I assume they're all just going to play one more time. Number um, one. Vale. So. Felices fiestas a todos nuestros clientes. Les advertimos que cerramos mañana a las dos. Pero... Abrimos de nuevo a las 8 vale, el sí. día 27. D and F, I think. Para una cena de Nochebuena memorable, hoy tenemos ofertas especiales yeah. en la pescadería, con gambas y salmón a precios muy reducidos. En el nuevo año, no se pierdan las rebajas en productos de belleza. No step here that I think they said, so like, don't forget. De bajas is sales. So that's why I know it's going to be um, D, the option January sales. Vale, good. Number two. Next one, let's move on. How do I? Interview with actor. Vale, vale. All right, okay. Switch to one page, that's fine. Estaba muy seguro de sí mismo y dedicado a su trabajo. Insistía en pedir esa misma dedicación a todos los actores. No lo conocíamos bien, porque era un hombre reservado. Pero, como director, lo admirábamos mucho. Number two. Best number two, brother. Estaba muy seguro de sí mismo y dedicado a su trabajo. Yeah, yeah, Insistía en pedir esa misma dedicación a todos los actores. 
no lo conocíamos bien, porque era un hombre reservado. Pero, como director, lo admirábamos mucho. Que lo admirábamos, lo admirábamos, en perfect tense, amamos, um, mucho de ese, didn't they? Number three. That's that one. Okay, next one. Number three. Let's zoom in a bit. Tenía un aspecto un poco raro, con la cabeza completamente calva y ese bigote negro. No veía bien, tenía mala vista, pero detestaba llevar gafas y Can nunca se las ponía. Nunca gafas. This is A and B. I realize you can put both as well. So that's going to be both. This one. They say no gafas. Let's hear again. Number three. Hey, okay, both. Vale. Tenía un aspecto un poco raro, con la cabeza completamente calva y yes. ese bigote negro. So bigote is no big. veía bien, tenía mala vista, pero detestaba llevar gafas. Y nunca se las ponía. Okay, so they mentioned glasses, gafas, but they say um, he never wore them, he didn't like them. So A is the answer there. Is that correct? A. Maybe he's demanding, I don't know. Anyway, we can't do anything, we have to move on. Number four. Yeah, let's move on. Number four. This one here, number four. Vale. Think they're a bit smaller, shall we? Oops. Muchos granjeros piden compensaciones después de la sequía prolongada que arruinó los cultivos de ajo, cebollas y zanahorias. Just about like farmers and stuff, I think. Could be H. Number four. Could be other ones. Let's hear again. Muchos granjeros piden compensaciones después de la sequía prolongada que arruinó sequía. los cultivos de ajo, cebollas y zanahorias. Ruin crops. Okay, H. Sequía is like a flood or something, not a flood, like a thunderstorm or something. It's one of those natural disasters. Number five. So yeah, H. Weather wiping out crops. Yes. How do I guess one on this one? Debido al paro nacional, un gran número de estudiantes universitarios tiene que aceptar empleos donde sus títulos no son necesarios. Okay. This one's going to be E. Number five. I'll tell you why in just a second. So, paro is unemployment. So Debido unemployment. al paro nacional, yep. Un gran número de estudiantes gran universitarios número. tiene que aceptar empleos donde sus títulos no son necesarios. Yeah. Um, títulos, university degrees, um, what do they say? No, not necessary. No son necesarios. Number six. Um, so that one is going to be um, E, because many young workers are overqualified. Um, títulos is your university degree. Yeah. Vale. Representantes del ayuntamiento piden ayuda al público para colaborar en la operación de limpieza tras la marea negra. Limpieza es cleaning. Marea es sea. Number six. Negra. Marea negra. Vale. Representantes del ayuntamiento piden ayuda al público para colaborar en la operación de limpieza tras la marea negra. Um, G. Piden de ask for help from the public. So that one's going to be G. Number Volunteers seven. are needed. Genial. Vamos, number seven. Good stuff. Las escuelas primarias prohíben el consumo de zumos de fruta con azúcar y colorantes artificiales. Okay, drinks being in the question, Dicen so this could be this one. que afecta al comportamiento de sus alumnos. Ah, no, comportamiento. It's a trick question here. 
Number seven. Let's see again. It could be which one could it be? In this one here, I think. Las yeah. escuelas primarias prohíben el consumo de zumos de fruta con azúcar y colorantes artificiales. Azúcar, sugar. Dicen que afecta al comportamiento de sus alumnos. This word is behavior, so it's going to be that one I said. Number A. Letter A, I should say. Good. Number eight. Ocho. En las Filipinas, los huracanes han dejado a cientos de personas sin casa y en peligro de enfermar por la falta de agua limpia. Number eight. Number C, this letter C, I mean. En las Filipinas, los huracanes han dejado a cientos de personas sin casa y en peligro de enfermar por la falta de agua limpia. You know, okay, C, what else can it be? Yeah, C. Good job, I think that's correct. Number I'm nine. Pause the audio just for a second. So, um, tips here, as you can very clearly see, this is what I do in all of my listening exams. You write down everything you hear, like little notes of what you're hearing, just like I did over here, and then this can help you um, figure out the answers. So this way, if you have time to go back, um, you have a little reminders of what the audio said for those questions. Um, so H-E-G-A-C, I believe are the correct answers. Um, let's continue with number nine down here. Hang on. So soap episode, summary of recent events. What exactly do we learn about the following characters and answering in English? La semana pasada, episode. los telespectadores tuvimos una gran sorpresa cuando Carlos pasó la prueba médica para el ejército. Post exam. Elena descubrió que había perdido su anillo de matrimonio. This is hard, actually. Okay. One more time. Number nine. La semana pasada, los telespectadores tuvimos una gran sorpresa cuando Carlos pasó la prueba médica para el ejército. Ah, ok. Elena descubrió que había perdido su anillo de matrimonio. Ok, I'm going to pause the audio just for a second so I can quickly write the answers down properly. This is just little notes I'm making, and the real answer is going to be, uh, what exactly we learn, Carlos passed his... Um, medical test for the army. I hope that's correct. That's the answer there. I'm going to say, and Elena, um, um, she had lost her, do I say she discovered? She had lost her wedding ring. Quizás. Not 100% sure for this one. Um, it can be trickier, these sort of longer writing questions. Anyway, let's continue. Let's not waste too much time. The um, audio does give you like a couple of seconds to actually write down your answer. Um, so that's good. And then number 10, same thing down here. Number 10. Vale. Number 10. Para alegría de sus hijos, Ana y José Luis decidieron quedarse juntos. Roberto suspendió su examen de conducir otra vez. Luisa descubrió que alguien había sacado todo el dinero de su cuenta bancaria. Um, cuenta bancaria, bank account. So it's A, because someone had taken all the money out. Sacar is the verb they use to take. Okay, let's say one more time. Number 10. The 
cambiado las cosas. Quedarse este stay. Para alegría de sus hijos, Ana y José Luis decidieron quedarse juntos. Okay, I'm going to pause the audio just so I can probably write down my answer. I mean, it takes a bit longer to type it out. Um, so Ana and José Luis, or whatever the name is, Ana and José Luis, um, decided to stay together for the happiness of their children. It should be correct. Um, and then this one here, I remember from just listening to one time, um, Roberto um, failed his driving test. Conducir is to drive, so again. And otra vez again. Roberto suspendió su examen de conducir otra vez. Suspendió. Failed. This Luisa is the descubrió que alguien había sacado todo el dinero de su cuenta bancaria. Is it gonna, what's this one gonna be? Aha, okay, yeah. It can't be A actually because she didn't withdraw, withdraw it, someone else did. Okay, B. It says alguien, someone else. Vale, continuamos. B. B, 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 B. Vale, um, number was 11. This can be hard, this can be quite fast paced, um, yeah. If you have um, extra time in this exam, you're very lucky. Number 11. Vale, 11, answer. Good points, first, good points. So probably not going to be cost of ticket, but very well could be. I'm going to cross the line, actually. Fue imposible seguir la trama de la película, porque era una historia muy complicada. Los efectos especiales me impresionaron mucho. Eran fenomenales. La banda sonora a veces estaba demasiado alta y no se oía bien el diálogo. Fue menos caro de lo normal porque hay descuentos los miércoles. Ajá. Uh -huh. I was wrong, vale. They talk kind of quick there, don't they? Um, but those are all of the each point they mentioned. So cost of tickets is a Number good point. Eleven. They say discount on Wednesdays, on miércoles, descuentos. Um, Bana Sonada, this one here is your soundtrack. So this is bad. Fue imposible seguir la trama de la película. La trama porque era plot. una historia muy complicada. So plot is bad. Los efectos especiales Special me impresionaron effects. mucho. A good thing. Eran fenomenales. Phenomenal, they're like amazing. La banda yeah. sonora... A veces estaba demasiado alta y no se oía bien el diálogo. So can be heard well. Fue menos caro de lo normal Cheaper porque hay descuentos los miércoles. There is discounts, descuentos on Wednesdays. Okay, B F E D. Good. Can be quite tricky, can't it? Um, but I would recommend you do it as I did. Write down in the like bullet points what they say. Number twelve. So, so geared to follow the plot, etc. Okay, number twelve. Let's keep going. Global issues. This one's about. Projects is proyectos, vale. Los chicos van a hacer pósteres sobre los peligros de las drogas. Vale. Los peligros. The first bit they say the boys are going to make posters about los peligros, the dangers of drugs. We're answering in English, aren't we? The Number the... 12. Did I answer in English before as well or no? Los chicos yes, okay, van English. a hacer pósteres sobre los peligros de las drogas. That one's dangers of drugs. Peligros is danger and drogas is like a cognate. What about the girls? Let's find out, chicas. Okay. Number 13. Las chicas van chicas. a hacer un vídeo sobre el cambio climático. Cambio Climático, el cambio climático. What is this? Climate change. Remember to write English. The climate change. Number 13. Yeah. So, las chicas, las chicas van, a, van a hacer un vídeo sobre el cambio climático. So, this is what they start to start. And then the girls are going to do, van a hacer, just in the near future tense, they are going to, so we make or do a video about climate change. Cambio climático. Genial. Continuamos. Trip Number in fourteen. Tour guide. Okay, window. 
es la ventana o la acción de la ventana. Weiss is like, I don't... Let's type what they say. Small rock, small rock. Okay. Rip, give me a new one. Aquí, a la izquierda, ustedes pueden ver varios campos verdes. No es hierba, es arroz. Un producto muy importante en esta región de España. So B... A la derecha... Detrás de los hoteles se ve el mar. Valencia tiene más de 100 kilómetros de costa. Algunos de los pueblos aquí se especializan en hacer abanicos, algunos sencillos y otros más sofisticados. Hoy, para comer, les recomiendo el hervido un plato típico de patatas y judías verdes. Beans. So meat stew is this? Oh, I don't know, patatas. It can't be fish. It can't be meat because it doesn't... Judías is beans, green beans, A. Number 14. This is hard, isn't it? This can be B because I mentioned arroz, arroz, coast. It can't be this one because it's... A uh, um, hundred kilometers of coast, not like sea or whatever. Okay. Aquí a la izquierda, ustedes pueden ver varios campos verdes. No es hierba, es arroz. Un producto muy importante en esta región de España. Vale. That one's gonna be B. A la derecha, detrás de los hoteles, se ve el mar. Valencia. Tiene más de 100 kilómetros de costa. So this would be white, Algunos so this de be... los pueblos aquí se especializan en hacer abanicos, algunos sencillos y otros más sofisticados. Hoy, para comer, okay. les recomiendo. I'm pause el for a this word albanico means fan. Would you know that in the exam? Probably not. You would just have to guess this one. This one can be tricky. Workshop is tired. Um, which again, vocab here. If you don't know the word albanico, um, I'm guessing it's on the spec. I don't remember exactly where. Um, yeah. It's all about if you know the word albanico. They say um, it's like simple ones and more complex ones. It's fans. So that's that one. Let's continue, shall we? Vido. Un plato típico de patatas here. y judías verdes. Patatas is potatoes and like beans. So it has to be vegetarian. It's not like fish or anything, is it? Green beans. Yeah, so A. Vale. All right, number 15. We're about 30 minutes through, are we? Yes. Number 15. Last week, Lucia. Vale, Lucia. Let's see what Lucia La did last semana week. Pasada, Escribí una carta al periódico pidiendo trabajo. Number 15. Yep, got one. She wrote a letter to the John... La so... semana pasada escribí una carta al periódico pidiendo trabajo. Newspaper, actually, newspaper. Asking for a job, is that correct? Number 16. I think that's correct. I might change it later on, but... Number 16. Ayer is yesterday. Pues, ayer, ayer fui a una entrevista con el jefe. Yep, jefe is boss. So she went to an interview with the boss. Let's capitalize that W there. Done. Good. That was easy. Entrevista is interview. Sort of looks like that. Number 16. Um, is this one correct? Do it in newspaper. Pues ayer fui a una entrevista con yeah. el jefe. Yep, vale. Number 17. Okay, pause the audio for a second. In your, re in your reading time, when you're looking at this question, you can think about the different options. Maybe by phone, maybe by text, maybe by email. So then when you come back to this question in the real, like, to answer it, you have different options. Probably one of these three. How will they let her know she has got the job? It can't be infinite possibilities. It's either like phone, text, that sort of thing. Um, so let's now hear this. Number 
Yep. Number 17. Esta tarde van a llamarme para decirme si tengo el trabajo o no. They will call her. Van a llamarme, they will call her. Fácil, ¿no? Oops. It says van esta tarde, I think she Number said. 17. Van a llamarme. Llamarme. Esta tarde van a llamarme para decirme si tengo el trabajo o no. Decir is to say or tell, so tell me, decirme. Um, they will call her. Yeah, see, as I said, phone, text, or email, it's phone. That one's quite easy, I think. Um, make sure to write in English, always in in English, for these ones, well then. Number 10, oh, sorry, 18. Number 18. 18. Alejandro. 18.1.2, just those two, brother. Estoy cansadísimo. Me desperté varias veces anoche. Lo Wake peor es que tengo entrenamiento de natación a las cuatro. Ok. Training. Swimming training a las cuatro. Entre, whatever the word is, means training. Number 18. Estoy cansadísimo. Stop there for Me... a second. Cansadísimo. Um, I teach my students this. This ending, cansadísimo, um, it exaggerates it. Yeah, so it's not just tired, he's really tired. I'm actually going to change this here to really tired. Um, because, and then yeah, we'll continue. Desperté varias veces anoche. Lo peor es que tengo entrenamiento de natación a las cuatro. Entrenamiento de natación. So, I should probably put this one, shouldn't I? Ah, swimming training at 4 p.m. Or just 4, I guess it's fine. Genial. Natación is the word for swimming, and then, yeah, the rest is easy. Okay, number, number 19. 19. Mm -hmm. Exactly, this Alejandro's mother suggests. Maybe, like, get some sleep, I would suggest, pues, I would guess. ¿por qué no mandas un mensaje para decir que estás enfermo? Porque entonces no podré participar en el torneo. I should give a bit more of a break between 90.1 and 90.2, but um, that's the correct there then. So, in English... Um, send an email that he is sick. Well, I call him sick, but that should Number work. 19. That should work. Mandar un mensaje, or a message, sorry. Pues, ¿por qué no mandas un mensaje para decir que estás enfermo? Porque so again, entonces he, no say, podré participar en el torneo. He can't participate in the tournament or he won't be able to he won't be able to um podre is your simple future tense again this is easy if you know the vocab if you know, if you know the grammar but also for the majority of people i'm guessing it is just tricky a lot of words a lot of like very fast points, doesn't it? pause for a second just so i can take a breather um vale okay let's move on yeah Social media is las redes sociales, las redes sociales, how have they helped his mother? Let's find out. Is it going to say number 20? Mucha gente critica las redes sociales, okay. pero tienen consecuencias positivas también. Okay, Por ejemplo, gracias a las redes sociales, mi madre ahora se ha puesto en contacto con compañeros a los que conocía cuando estaban juntos en la escuela. Ahora well, se encuentran con frecuencia. Además, hay beneficios educativos. En mi colegio, el señor González, que nos da clases de dibujo, utiliza la página de nuestra clase para decirnos cuando hay un buen programa sobre arte en la tele. 
Vale. Should be able to figure this out now. So again, making notes of Number what he said. Uh, don't need to hear it a second time, really. I can just talk over that because I can just read through what notes I made. So, has been put in contact with colleagues from like Escuela. So, um, aha. Mucha gente Not this one. critica las redes sociales. Compañeros. Pero tienen consecuencias positivas también. So I think it's a double check actually. Por ejemplo, gracias a las redes sociales, yep. mi madre ahora se ha puesto en contacto con compañeros a los que conocía cuando estaban juntos en la escuela. Yeah. Ahora se encuentran con frecuencia. No. Pulse was second. It's B actually. This is hard actually, isn't it? No, it's B. She's not a teacher. She's a student. When she, it was not coming from her pupils. Yeah, this is hard. Okay. They say the word contacto to trick you off thinking about it has to be C about contact, but it doesn't mention anything about relatives or anything. I'm going to say B. Let's continue. Además, hay beneficios C. educativos. This is hard, isn't it? En mi colegio, hard. el señor González, que nos da clases de dibujo, utiliza la página de nuestra clase para decirnos cuando hay un buen programa sobre arte en la tele. Vale. Number Let's 21. 21. Nature is la naturaleza. Naturaleza. ¿Cómo así? Why must you not use your mobile phone in the park? En el parque está prohibido usar los móviles porque el ruido les da miedo a los pájaros. Pájaros es birds. No se deben that. recoger flores en ninguna parte. Algunas son especies amenazadas. What is the most you know, you okay, what's okay? Oh, it's number 22, my bad. Okay. It's number 21. Um, um, the noise scares the birds. Pájaros es birds. Ruido noise. Genial. That one I know. En el parque está prohibido usar los móviles porque el ruido les da miedo a los pájaros. No se deben recoger flores en ninguna parte. Algunas son especies amenazadas. Pause for a second. I need to think about this for a second. How much information do we put? Um, it doesn't say like specific, like exactly or anything. So, um, although in the in the like audio they say so, pick flowers in any pot. What does the guide tell you not to ask? Does the guide, um, pick pick up flowers in any pot. I'm just gonna say pick up flowers. I think. Um. Yeah. Vale, so this is number 22, I thought was the same question, number 22 this is. What two things must you not do if you stay to eat in the park? Maybe litter, maybe? Number 22. Quizás. Si se quedan en el parque para comer después, recuerden que está prohibido encender fuegos. Ajá. También les pido que no... Vale, I was correct. Okay. Don't need to listen to a second time. Know the answer there. Um, start fires. Fuego and fender is like to light or the turn on something. Number 22. And then throw trash or whatever I should say. Litter. Si se quedan en litter. el parque para comer después, and start fires. recuerden que está prohibido encender fuegos. También les pido... Que no Let's tiren basura. Pido, um, I ask you guys, basically, or I, I ask them, um, start fires, yes, that's what the instant their fuegos means, vale. Okay, now, section B, this is where we're answering Spanish, section but these B. ones are multiple choice. Questions and answers in Spanish. Spanish, vale. Ah, Semana Santa is Número Easter. Número 23. Okay, this should be easy. Scary to make some notes.
en Semana Santa hay numerosas procesiones religiosas. Personalmente a mí me aburren, porque las he visto mil veces. A la gente mayor le encantan, sobre todo a mi abuela. Vale. Número 23. P plus N, I believe. I'm going to say for that one. En Semana Santa hay numerosas procesiones religiosas. Personalmente, a mí me aburren, porque las he visto mil veces. A la gente mayor le encantan, sobre todo a mi abuela. Ah, uh, es tricky now. Pause for a second. This is tricky because it's saying what is the opinion of Rodrigo, not the grandmother. So let's say negative then. It's not about the, the grandmothers. Grandmother loves it. We don't care about grandmother. We care about Rodrigo. This is okay. This can be tricky. I'm seeing now like this can actually be tricky. Um, I'm gonna stick with negative there, just because it's saying what is the opinion of Rodrigo, not the grandmother, not his grandmother. Vale. Let's just continue. I'm nearly done now anyway. Um, corridas de toros is like the bull one, I think. Yeah. Or the bull fight as well. Maybe. Número 24. Make some on this. Mucha yes. gente Mucha detesta gente. las corridas de toros por su crueldad. Estoy de acuerdo hasta cierto punto. Para mí, la gran ventaja es que crean trabajo y mucho dinero. Okay, this one is positive and negative because um, to some point he agrees. He says like, estoy de acuerdo. Um, hasta cierto Número punto. 24. Just up to like a certain extent. So this one I'm confident is positive Mucha and negative. gente detesta las corridas de toros por su crueldad. Detesta es hate. Estoy es like de acuerdo odio. hasta cierto punto. Para mí, la gran ventaja es que crean trabajo y mucho dinero. That's what he said there. La gran ventaja es que crean trabajo y mucho dinero. So um, it creates money and jobs. So positive and negative. Vale, continuamos. Okay, this one's... Número 25. Writing question. Excursión a Ronda. Um, let's translate this for a second quickly. So, um, a trip to Ronda. You are listening to a conversation with a family and an employee of an agency of travel. And then the two types of transport recommended transport for the family are... Let's think about this. Types of transport. Avión, barco, coche, etc. Right? It's not completely, like, random... It's like multiple choice. You have different transport options that you're picking from, basically. Well, let's listen to the audio. Los billetes de tren no valen mucho y el viaje dura poco. Jamás iría en coche porque es montañoso y hay muchas curvas. Por eso es una ruta popular para los ciclistas profesionales. Mi otro consejo. Sería ir en autocar porque los conductores tienen mucha experiencia. Vale. Um, tren y autocar are your options here. Um, they mentioned Número cycling. 25. They mentioned car. Both of them don't go in. O coche. In this case, can be car or bus. Los billetes de But tren Spanish, no so valen really right. mucho y el viaje dura poco. Vale. Oops, Jamás iría en coche porque cost. es montañoso. Y hay muchas curvas. Por eso es una ruta popular para los ciclistas profesionales. Mi otro consejo sería ir en autocar porque los conductores tienen mucha experiencia. Vale, se va a dar. Um... Número 26. Two places of Hay interest. que ver la Plaza de Toros, que Plaza. es la más antigua de España. El Museo Taurino es fascinante, pero no para sus hijos. Las ruinas romanas son interesantes, pero como hoy es lunes, no están abiertas. Durante su visita de esta tarde, 
deben ir al puente porque las vistas son fenomenales. Vale. So mentions four of them. These two they say pero. Pero means accompany that one. So answers are la plaza de toros, which is like the square of like the bulls. Número 26. Y this one's quite easy because they give you four options, but the middle two they say pero. They give it like a contrasting reason. So you always think about all the way that I think about that. La plaza puente, de toros, el puente, que es la más antigua bridge, de España. El, puente, el puente. museo taurino es fascinante, pero no para sus hijos. Las If ruinas romanas kids, son interesantes, interesantes, pero como hoy es lunes, no están abiertas. They're Durante like su visita de esta tarde, deben ir al puente, puente porque puente las vistas son fenomenales. Vale. Um, that one's kind of easy, I think. Always in the exam, write out like all four of them, if they say probably three or four, and then pick the correct ones. Vale. This Número last one? 27. Yes. Vale, let's push to this then. 27, number 27. Positive, also past. This is easy normally. Past, now, future. I'm going to pause for a second. Think about the, um, this is all about your time like expression. So, pasado, we have like ayer, la semana pasada. Stuff like ante ayer. These are all these different expressions um, about the past. And then we have the sort of nowadays, the now we have... Um, Hoy en día, stuff like that. So you're listening out for these words. And also verbs as well. Um, you can tell by the ending of the verb, what tense it's in. Future, stuff like en el futuro, etc. Vale, escuchamos. Clases de guitarra. Abuela, gracias por la guitarra para mi cumpleaños. Es perfecta. Voy a tener mi primera clase el martes que viene. So, voy a tener means future. Sí, estoy un poco ocupado de momento aprendiendo vocabulario para una prueba. So, right now he's busy learning vocabulary for a test, which is now happening like in the current moment. Genial, easy. This one's quite easy, actually. If you listen Número to what is being said, 27. you can figure it out. Yeah. Ending on a high, I think, yeah. Abuela, gracias por la guitarra para mi cumpleaños. Thanks es to the for the guitars, Voy a tener mi primera clase el martes que viene. Also que viene. So next, sí, basically. estoy un poco ocupado de momento aprendiendo vocabulario de para momento una prueba. Gives you a hint it's happening right now. Vale. Um, last one, número 28. 28, sí. Let's see about a little bit. Número 28. No, abuela, ya no estudio religión. Solo fue obligatoria en los primeros tres años. Okay, fue, is, it was, this is your sí, fetish. claro que hago deporte. Vamos a empezar con el baloncesto el próximo trimestre. Okay, he's going to start, vamos a empezar, similar to voy a tener. Future, or near future, we are going to start with basketball in the next couple months, Número whatever he said. 28. Good. Bueno, nearly done. No, abuela, ya no estudio religión. Solo fue obligatoria en los primeros tres años. Sí. Claro que hago deporte. Vamos a empezar con says, el baloncesto el deporte, próximo trimestre. But basketball is in the next three months or three trimesters, whatever you said, semesters. Vale. Okay, that's the end. The order is about to end in a couple of seconds. End of test. End of test. Amazing to hear. Vale. Um, cool. So if I flip to two page view, this is how I would answer all of these questions. Vale, muchísimas gracias por watching. I hope you found this video truly helpful and subscribe for more. Adiós.